Hi everyone, Mrs. Halford here, and I'm going to do a magic milk experiment with you today. So, all you need is a tray of some sort, some kind of container that you can pour a little bit of your milk into. I'm going to use a Pyrex dish. You need some food colouring, preferably loads of different colours if you have them. Sadly, I only have red food colouring at home. You need a pipette. Now, I don't know how many of you have that at home. I definitely don't. So I'm just going to use the end of a teaspoon. You need some washing up liquid. You need some milk, preferably um, semi-skimmed or full fat. And you need a cotton bud. Okay, so this is what you need to do. Pour a little bit of your milk into the bottom of the tray, just so that it covers the bottom of the tray. We don't want to be too wasteful. Then, take your teaspoon or your pipette, dip it into the red food colouring or your, all your different colours and drop your food colouring into the milk. Okay? It should look a little bit like this. Lovely. Right, then you take your cotton bud and cover it in washing up liquid. We'll cover the end in washing up liquid. We don't need loads just to coat the bottom. All right, what you're going to do, and this is where you need to have a look at your milk, is tap the washing up liquid onto the surface of the milk. Ah, wow, amazing. So what I would like you to do is have a go at this, maybe use lots of different colours and send pictures of the amazing artwork that you've created with your milk and your food colouring. But why does this actually happen? Well, milk is a mixture of things really, it's a bit deceptive. It's actually made of water, mineral ions, proteins and lipids. Now those, all of that combination and specifically the water creates something called surface tension. So the reason when I dripped the food colouring in that it sat on the top is because of bonds within the water that creates that surface tension. So the food colouring sits on top. The washing up liquid, because of what it's made of, breaks the surface tension. So the dye is then able to mix in with the milk and that's why you see it spread out. If you've got different colours, you'll make a really pretty pattern. And it would be amazing to see all those patterns that you've made at home. 